Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a first look of the new Mitsubishi ISX. So this is the Renault Captur, but uh, they've did a cooperation to brands, so they're sharing the same platform. And I gotta say, I do prefer the Mitsubishi a little bit more. It has cool details. This is the plug-in hybrid that yet didn't come to the Renault or Renault. But what we have here is the top spec of the ASX. We don't have the spec sheet, unfortunately, as you can see, it's empty, but I'm gonna put the technical details in the link in the video description, so check it out. Now, let's come a little bit closer. We have the same uh, daytime running lights, projector LED headlights, turn signals are inside there. Uh, we have the air intake that's uh, real, you can see that there. We have beautiful metallic white color. Uh, now, what Mitsubishi has changed is this part uh, of the front grille. They have this a bit more different style chrome pieces, and then they have their own badge, of course. Uh, there should be um, this redesign for the Renault, of course, or Renault. And uh, this is where the radar is. There is some air intake on the sides here and at the bottom on the right side of the vehicle. Uh, we have protection unpainted going around. On the front, they decided to use a little bit of piano black contrast to make it look sportier. Now, it looks gorgeous. You can also see it with this optional box if you're going for two road trips. So it looks quite beautiful. I like the spec. Now let's check the alloys. We have diamond cut. Now these are, let me see, the tines have the shine, so it's a bit harder to read, but there it is. Uh, 215, 215. 55 R18, if I'm reading correctly. It's a little hard to read the font. Now we have this little details here in plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. We have side mirrors in metallic black. You can see light and rain sensor there, lane assist camera, little sensor in there for incoming traffic, long beam control. We have silver roof racks optional Mitsubishi box. Now if I back up, you can see the whole car, you can see that plastic on the bottom, so it gives you a little protection when you're going a light off-roading. Wish it had tinted windows on the back. Now at this end, we have petrol. It's locked, needs to be unlocked from inside the car. We also have chrome details finishing at the end. And we have the Captur LED lights, turn signals are inside, we're gonna see that later. On the bottom we have a little diffuser in piano black, you can see LED lights for the reverse lights, have the cat eyes and we have the exhaust hidden on the left side, ASX Mitsubishi plug-in hybrid or PHEV. Now I'm not a huge fan of leathers in this case because it's just too long name. If it was like four top six leathers that would be fine but ideally four to six leathers max. Uh, so there's no badge they've added this backing camera system there and to check it out from this angle it looks quite nice. Open it up. Now you have the white LED license plate and a button there. I'm gonna back up so you can see the whole car in the perspective. There we go, even with the box. Luckily I have room behind myself. So that is very practical, same as Captor. Now on the top, both ends, you can pull to close. This is plain. You can remove these, so you can remove the top shelf has rubber stoppers it's hard so you can put a like a longer umbrella here but check this out I think maybe this is an option uh, this bar for pets perhaps actually maybe for cargo more just notice that now inside 
on the right side it's a bit dark there's a grocery hook here this is plain and there's a light here but for whatever reason it's not on now it looks like we have a optional towing hook so we can press here to perhaps unlock it let me see here I'm sure you could unlock it and then lock it but uh, maybe the car doesn't have power to do that but you know it's there I like to be detailed in my reviews now there is an extra room underneath you can see but since this is a plug-in hybrid there is a battery here now you get a charger here so but obviously not inside you have a patching kit here as well so let me see if I can take this out you can see how that looks and without the carpet I think it's supposed to be like over there or on the other side perhaps and you can see that compared to the standard model it's a bit different but what is cool uh, what is cool in just a moment so when you put this down it's like one finger of height so it's flat so if you're camping you can theoretically sit down and this opens fairly tall i'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 6 in feet let's close it up stop light is on the top and i just thought there was a washer nozzle but it's probably on the wiper now uh, not to forget since this is a plug-in hybrid there's your AC type, lights what they mean, how to unlock, and so on. Have also a little better aerodynamic black details there. Now let's hear the opening and closing sound. Solid, but the Captur had one problem. You're gonna see inside if they fixed it. A double ceiling on the top, and if you want to, you can push this down you can lock from the inside for the kids so they cannot open and one good thing is also that the doors go all the way down but they have this good closing sound from the outside but from inside I can hear like a rattle sound hard plastic here handles so this is exactly the same as Captur of course speaker here and at the bottom this is padded leather this is just plastic hard plastic and then really tight space you cannot put a water bottle here automatic windows on the rear now if you want to knock down the seats you pull here and you can see here how that looks I guess you can knock this down maybe when you knock down the bench you can see also that the point for the isofix on the rear but look at this seat belt, seat belt is in the way you can use this guy so it holds the seat belt in position isofix is underneath and uh, i gotta say really quality looking leather and i like the this pattern it's nice and gray finish it's a beautiful combo so leather and textile combo that little plastic step here let's jump inside okay so we have uh, enough feet room and knee room. I was sitting on the front. You can see the net there. Also beautiful details in the front seats. And you can see AC vents. You have the 12 outlet and two USB A's. Transmission tunnel isn't too tall, too wide, so it's enough to squeeze another person on the back. Now this is soft. This is soft, the seats are nicely profiled. Going inside as well. Oh, so you have two buckles here. You can see one is black. So if you have a child seat, you can like buckle it in like that. Now there is no middle armrest. You can adjust, of course, the headrest. Now we have a big window, C-pillar as well see the view on the back with this cage if we can call it cage you can see also here lights you can so 
Bridged him off. Let's hear the closing sound. So there's like this closing sound like bump. It's just, it's not bad, but it's like the car shakes a bit and rattles. Now someone opened the rear. But here's a look at the front, pretty much familiar. And here is the, if I straighten up my uh, back, I cannot straighten up my neck or my head. So if I was an average person, I'd be touching the top, so a bit okay. But uh, unfortunately for, for tall people, uh, there is a lack of space. And there are no handles on neither of the sides and no hooks, not even on the B pillars. You can adjust the seat belt height there, but it is what it is. And over here, I guess this is a tablet holder. Okay, going to the front. Now, there should be a, yeah, you can pop this plastic. There's a physical cylinder in the key fob. In case of emergency, you can open that up. And you can see the blind spot warning and physical blind spot in the mirror, no pod lights. But the mirror is put it to the side, so there's better aerodynamics. On the front, better closing and opening sound. Front door is open way wider. And we have soft touch materials on the front. Ambient lights as well. This is soft, of course. You can lock the car ignition is on for the rear, for the kids. Not to open the windows. All windows are electronic and fully automatic. And you can fold and electronically adjust the mirrors. Bit better room for bottle area. Big speaker. You can hear that. Now this is plastic, but it does illuminate. So, not in this case, but it was illuminated before. And you can see the ASX carpets and sport paddles. Seats are manual up and down, tilt, no lumbar, and push this up. This is longer here to slide back and forward. There is a little vent there. Now, I love this combo. The seats look really beautiful. This white gray combo. And of course the headrest is kind of borrowed from Volvo. So with this pattern, it looks kind of I Ikea-ish or Swedish design. Now there's blank here. Uh, steering column is manually adjustable. You can see the top there. And here's lane assist brightness for the display there and height of the lights and you can pop the tank here you can see that you can open this up for the fueling and then you can put it here so it doesn't uh, damage your clear coat when it's hanging click it's locked now let's hop inside, close this up, and let me just slightly, I did adjust the seat, but someone moved it. Okay, switching to wide lens, and there we go, that's the point of view, it's familiar again, but let's zoom back in. Now uh, checking the steering wheel, you know the steering wheel. It's been tilted, it's locked. Uh, you can see nice silver finish. You have here cruise control settings, voice commands, pages for the infotainment there. And of course, the new logo, in this case, Mitsubishi. Now we have this in black and you can see that trim. This is soft touch plastics on the top. I've been going there. We have uh, Bose speakers on the front. So that's a nice detail. Soft touch plastics here, then hard plastic at the bottom. Yeah, here. Now, I'm gonna come back to the screen. Start stop is here. You can see the screen, it's flickering on the camera in person. It's not, and it looks way better. Now, over here we have shortcuts. In this case, EV, uh, Sense, or Renault calls that. Hazards and lock, unlock. AC controls, nice dials. Uh, this one's pressable, this one's not. 
and you have these for max blow front rear close air circulation ac and over here we have a 12 volt someone removed uh, the cover aux in usb ace two of them and we have a little rubber there for qi uh, wireless charging you have a little light there and it's rubberized uh, we have the automatic here and notice there's not too much piano black in the car just here on the dash and around the screen moving down place for your key i'm really interested but i'm pretty sure you have the same key that looks like small remote electronic parking brake and auto hold adjustable cup holders uh, just plastic key but i like this chrome and over here we can see small semi-soft armrest you can extend it but yeah there's a little button here to open so it's a really deep well let me see if i can turn the lights on Hope they don't want to turn on i think the battery went to saving mode it's because i can't turn on the lights but if i put my hand down you can kind of see it's deep and plain plastic now opening it up here there's a room for a book pretty big long you can see that we just hand over the camera <clears throat> you can see better now pretty long there's a light and not sure if there's an ac vent there as well it's too deep for me to reach but very practical big i love this these seats are so comfy now checking the rear you can see the view for the mirror there's a little a light there so it might be auto dimming i think i could go a little bit lower the seat okay passenger airbag information that's weird that this part is black and this is gray but okay now you could turn on the lights but i got the message that the light i mean the 12 battery is getting low and you can see here emergency and road assistance a speaker there uh, this is of course soft documents holder and a mirror no lights above and over here, this is not covered, this cannot extend. Now you can see pretty good for the mirrors. If you're taller, you can see a little bit of the hood. Now for a two meter tall person, 6.6 .6 again, plenty of headroom on the front as always in all cars. Uh, we have here wiper controls, of course, front and rear, you know, the lights keep them on automatic. This is just for the car show and Uh, I'm gonna ask for a card to turn on the infotainment. So uh, we've got the key just to show you the key fob. So as I've uh, thought, it's the same key fob. You have the lock unlock, open the cargo, you can turn on the lights, and new uh, Mitsubishi logo. Now uh, we've turned on everything, so just a wire lines you can see how that looks. And zooming back in. Uh, battery standby mode okay we're gonna turn it on there we go we're gonna try being brief uh, because this is exactly the same so let me just uh, pass through these so you can see here compass you can here have different views i mean sorry let's go a little bit closer so you can see that it's pretty much the same as on Renault. You see your journey here, tire pressure, oil and coolant, volume and navigation compass there. Uh, the screen keeps turning off because someone depleted the battery. So it's going to a standby mode. Yeah, it's completely dead. I'm gonna ask them to if I can turn it on just for short so we can uh, charge the battery. So the engine is on, you can see Mitsubishi motors. Now uh, you can see exactly the same, so I'm just gonna browse through navigation. It's all the same, car info, energy info. So that's the different, you have list, flow of the car, you can see that it's charging. You can 
you can see the foam screen there. You see the menus, change the avatar, and you can see the safeties here. But we have to turn off the engine, so I don't want to get any problems. You can see minimal display and standby. And you can see the AC controls, how they look, air direction, when it's on. But we have to turn it off. See the windows? We're going to leave one open. Now let's show you the bonnet or what's underneath the bonnet. So, uh, left of the badge, push it to the left. You have to use the little leg on the top. And here you can see uh, it's a four cylinder petrol engine. I don't know the horsepower because I haven't checked. Again, uh, technical description will be in the video description. This is your washing fluid for the user. And you can see here on the right, the electric motor, since this is a plug-in hybrid. So that's the open mechanism. Let it drop. In a little switch, you can see the hazards and the LED projectors. And the rear.